I think even you would acknowledge, you have an incredible amount of power at this moment in time. Why should we trust you? Um, you shouldn't. Like, you know, I don't, as you, you know me for a long time, um, public talking, like I'd rather be in the office working. I, I, but I think at this moment in time, like people deserve basically as much time asking questions as they want. And I'm trying to show up and do it. But more to that, uh, like no one person should be trusted here. I don't have super voting shares. Um, like I don't want them. The board can fire me. I think that's important. I think the board over time needs to get like democratized to all of humanity. There's many ways that could be implemented. Um, but the reason for our structure and the reason it's so weird and the, one of the consequences of that weirdness was me ending up with no equity is we think this technology, the benefits, the access to it, the governance of it belongs to humanity as a whole. Hmm. You should like not, if this really works, it's like quite a powerful technology and you should not trust one company and certainly not one person with it. So why should we trust OpenAI? Are you saying we shouldn't? No, I think, I think you should trust OpenAI, but only if OpenAI is doing these sorts of things. Like if we're, if we're you know, years down the road and have not sort of figured out how to start democratizing control, then I think you shouldn't. But if this is like, you know, if we figure out some sort of new structure where OpenAI is like governed by humanity, and that can happen in many ways, including like the alignment data set we pick rather than us picking it, we find a way to like get it from humanity as a whole. Um, that could mean like actual board control. There's many ways that could be implemented and we're talking to a lot of people about what that could look like. But if we don't do that, I don't, I don't think like just trust us is good enough.